few weeks ago I received an email from a person who works for an Arduino company and I was honored because they noticed my YouTube channel. They were first in this game. But I need to admit lately I don't use their products because my projects always have some kind of display and for my needs boards based on ESP32 chip are more appropriate. But I still think Arduino Uno is best board for beginners and Arduino Nano is the best board for breadboard projects. I used them a lot in the past, I stopped using them because of limited speed and memory. In the email they told me that they have a new development board and they asked me if I wanted to try it. I accepted and after a few days I received this package and I, wa I was pleasantly surprised. This is an Arduino Nano ESP32, first Arduino board based on ESP32 microcontroller. So I tested it and I made this. And I will show you this later. And I will like always share my code for this, but first let's compare the old Nano, which is based on 80 Mega 328, with this new Arduino Nano ESP32 S3. You can see that size is same and pin layout is similar. But in performance there is huge difference. This one is much faster. 240 megahertz against 16 megahertz. So this one is much much faster. And of course this one has more memory. And Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, same as any other board based on ESP32. Like uh, the old model, this one also have a built-in LED. Again, it is connected to pin 13. But new model has also RGB LED here. They wanted me to test this development board and I thought for a long time um, about what to do and then I got an idea. Of course I will add a display to this board and couple potentiometers and I will make a nice user interface to choose right color for my RGB LED. And here it is, many hours of work to control a simple RGB LED. Of course point of this is not to control RGB. I just wanted to test speed, I wanted to see how this board behaves, how hard is to use and can it be used as any other ESP32 board. And short answer is yes this is ESP32 board like any ESP32 <laughs> board. It is fast, lots of memory and easy to use thanks to great documentation on Arduino site. Let me show you this masterpiece. Here I have three pots. This one is used to set amount of, or of red. This one is used to set green and this one is used to set blue. I can see chosen color here and of course on my RGB. With this push button I can turn on on or off built-in LED. Why? Because. And this graph is showing random values and it is used to, to check speed of this board. Also here I can see millis, milliseconds. I will put this code in description, maybe this will be helpful to someone. It is cute project and it looks great on this breadboard. You can use this design for your needs, so feel free to modify this code. Arduino boards have always been very easy to install and use 
and this one is no exception. Documentation for this board is great. On the Arduino site there is lots of useful information, like setup guide, examples, pinout, datasheet and even CAD files. This is really open source. It is really easy to install this board in Arduino IDE using board manager, but you don't even need to install it. It can be used as ESP32S3 development module, but in that case you will use these numbers for pins. The best feature of this board is its size. Arduino Nano was always my favorite for a breadboard project and now I finally have a ESP32 board with enough pins to use on my breadboard. I am happy with their decision to try something with ESP32 microcontroller. That's it. I like this board a lot and I can recommend it with no problem. Feel free to leave a comment, tell me what you think, do you use Arduino boards? And like always, if you are first time here, feel free to subscribe. If you want, you can support my work, you can buy me coffee, link is in the description. Thank you and goodbye.